guys, I'm Ryan and I'm really outgoing. It's Food Truck Friday. <laughs> That's my, I'm sorry. My name is Ryan. Ryan, go. Uh-oh. Hold on, that crowd's going to the food truck. Oh, let's we should, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're walking. So we're going to the food truck today. It is crepes. Not grapes, crepes. It's a French thing. Crepes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll see you there. I don't want to wait in line. It's just, oh, lines suck. We are totally power walking to get in front of them. <laughs> I like crepes more than I like the idea of crepes. I think it's just because they're French and they're so thin, but they look kind of delicious. Yeah, they're really good. And, dude, breakfast crepes are awesome, too. You can get, like, sauce and cheese. Mm -hmm. The van is so white, it's reflecting I know, it's in it's my <laughs> eyes. Damn it. I'm oh, cool. You can see them make crepes. What are you getting? I'm gonna get caprese. In a traditional caprese, there's no chicken, but you know, or I mean, crepe. or crepe. Or French people. Um, oh my god, Will works at the game station now? Oh my god, Schroeder leaves for lunch without me after texting me to come to lunch? I left my phone in the room. Mm. In the club. In the club. I don't want to get it because it's called in the club and I feel like I'd be a douche if I eat it. You get the lunch combo with the South Mountain Western Spice and the uh, Nutella dessert. What would you like to drink with that today? Um, what do you have to drink? Do you have an orange soda? There we go. I'll go for sparkling orange, yeah. Gotta get orange soda somehow. I think they need to catch up on their orders, so. Alright, cool. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. We don't call them crepes. Ricky Bobby loves them. Yes, I just made a Talladega Nights reference. You did. So proud. Crepes <laughs> Bonaparte. Vanity plates. It's starting to sound like a, a venereal disease. Crepes B. I've got crepes B. This music is shit. I don't like it. Turn it up. <laughs> I like it a little. To all our French no, no, no. friends, French fans, we're, we're sorry. We have French fans. I don't know. You just there's probably like one or two. We have French Canadian fans. I made fun of uh, New Zealand on my channel. New Zealand. New Zealand. That's New Zealand. It's like Australia. That's a terrible accent. But I made like a New Zealand and Australia joke, and they, the fans came out of the woodwork. You don't want to mess with New Zealanders because they have the whole. The, uh, have you seen their rugby team? No. Dude, they're scary as fuck. And they always win. Yeah. All right. And that's what our New Zealand fans. I'm assuming. I'm assuming based on very general stereotypes and what, That's what no I said. knowledge I have. I'm like, dude, I love New Zealand. Lord of the Rings, Fly of the Concords, like, boom. And two of two, two for two. What'd you get, Ryan? I got the Caprese, so it's got chicken, mozzarella, tomato, and pesto. And it looks awesome, and I'm gonna dive in right Wait, now. is there pesto on Caprese? Yeah. I thought it was well, like, yeah. just like well, mozzarella, tomato, and well, like olive oil. Yeah, no, there's not usually pesto on it, but. They're like, they're taking some liberties They also added chicken, caprese. but I'm okay with it. I also got the Caprese, oh. but with my dessert, I got, oh, you got a dessert, eh? I got the uh, strawberry banana Nutella. Oh, damn! Oh, damn. It's gonna be good. I went with the Southwest. The it's got chicken and stuff in it. Ooh, Southwest. Some grilled onions, and I got a Nutella dessert crepe. I got the in the club and they have apple bottom like I know. They're, I know. They're, they're, we're mixed messages here Are you gonna be like a French thing or are you gonna be a, douche a thing? slutty club thing? <laughs> yeah. the in the okay. club which has like bacon seven. tomato mozzarella so nice. Ryan show them how much we have left. Oh, and how much you have left? Oh, mm -hmm. I have zero. You wolfed it down. Ryan was hungry. I have no things. He was hungry like the wolf. It's got <laughs> melted peppers. cheese and shit. It's really I good. I was almost gonna get that except for it has like bell peppers in there. Uh, oh, bell peppers are amazing. I, I, like I don't want to be the guy who's like, can I have not one of the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So good. Yay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I'm doing a This is a pleasant surprise. This is. I looked at it on Yelp when we were in line. It was really good reviews. Yeah. They had it a... did really well in the food truck competition on the Food Network, I think, too. What did you get, Will? I got. Sorry, the, I need to interrupt your first bite. <laughs> my first bite. I got the Caprese thing with chicken and pesto and basil and Popular, tomato. Nice. Popular choice. Oh, good. Is that what you got? That's yeah, what I got. Yeah. Is it good? I had it in like a second. He like he ate it so fast. Mmm. It's all gone. Dessert time. <laughs> Some Nutella, strawberry in there, frosted sugar in my mouth. It's really this is, good. This is a hell of a grape. It is a great invention, Nutella. It is like what's it like hazelnuts and yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me see your. It was like yeah. I wonder if peanut butter works so well with tuna. I wonder how Nutella would work with tuna. Peanut butter works tuna? with tuna. Dude, I am the biggest tuna stop in the world. And my whole world was changed when Swift Karate Chop 
He makes tuna by mixing tuna with a little bit of peanut butter and mayonnaise, and it is dynamite. Are you kidding it me? It tastes like Thai tuna. It's like, it's amazing. How high were you? Not high at all. Okay. Zero. Zero I was sea level. Zero amounts of high. Brian was in a video that had a joke which nobody got this week. No one under the age of 20 got. Thanks, everyone. We all learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> And that creed is, is so important. Creed was a staple of my mid childhood. Is that a thing? You call it that? And then in high school, they broke up because the guy was a huge douche. The money they made, yeah. it was like not enough to be able to stand him. No, he was a huge douche. You, you sounded like a douche. You were supposed to. I, just, that was the joke. That was the joke. <laughs> the pickle in the mouth sound. Pickle in the mouth. Is that like the politically correct to say he had a fucking dick in his mouth? I think it's it like is. the whole time. Ass Creed was on Game Informer. What? Wow. <laughs> I love that we did nothing to promote this, and it's just everywhere all of a sudden. Yeah, I know. I was, I was, I was, good, was, yeah. good job, Ryan. You made a Friday. I know. Well, because... <laughs> In gaming news, Seth Killian says that there's no hardline date on when Heroes and Heralds is coming out. They're still working on it. Which is, to call it a new game... It's but it's gonna be absurd. free. He, he let everyone know that he was here. Because it was supposed to be on the fucking disc. <laughs> I know. You do have to he, pay he, a he... shipping and handling download fee. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun at Minecon. You guys are going to Minecon. You yeah. and you. Yeah. Well, not you. I'm not not you. Talk. Not me. The drinking games for gamers. 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 gamers, gamers, gamers. Do you explain. To the wind. Three you... sheets to the wind. It's an. It's an Irish or a pirate thing. Uh, it's just, an I... Irish or a pirate thing. Well, well I mean, I. I it's an Irish pirate. pirate. It's an Is Irish it an Irish pirate? Irish pirate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what? Explain three sheets. What does that mean? Uh, when you're three sheets to the wind, it means you're drunk. And that is all I know about it. I just know it's a thing. So yeah, Ryan and I spent like the majority of Tuesday night getting drunk, doing different taste tests for our our new warp pipe like, drink. It was literally like Ryan's like, okay, so I mixed this and this and this and this. All right, what do you think now? That's all right. Well, let's let's try let's try adding this now. And then it was like, okay, then like we just, we just kept like trying so many different things out that just like by the fifth taste test, we're like, I'm buzzed now. <laughs> I have an idea for an addition. What if we get a red gummy bear and you drop it in? Oh! <laughs> like Mario! <laughs> I, actually, I, actually, I actually really like it. I, uh, <laughs> we up? made a, what? We've done like what? Like six or seven We've songs done now? So many songs, you guys are probably sick to death of me. I'm already sick of me. Everything's on iTunes. It's easier than stealing and almost as cheap. To quote Tenacious D. <laughs> if you can't afford that, this amazing shirt that glows in the dark for serious, you can. Or you live in Europe and you can't handle the shipping costs. Yeah. Buy a dollar song. There, yeah. there are no shipping costs. And it helps us out, you know. It, it keeps us from getting a real job for however a much longer. longer. <laughs> All right, new so, bar. So since What's we're now verdict? actually grading out of ten, this is actually like one of the best things we've had here. Like. It's really unique. It was priced the right way, and it tasted really good. This is getting a nine. Ooh. Yep. The wow. only, I think the only thing that can eclipse it is Kogi Taco. I'll give it a nine too. I don't know what would make it a ten, but it's like I'm just saying it's a nine. I still like Raging Cajun and Kogi better, but it's like awesome. I agree, it's awesome. I'm gonna give it an eight, especially compared to my disastrous meal of last week. I feel like nine is too high for me. I feel like I've only experienced a limited amount of food trucks, so I'm only comfortable giving it an eight. Uh, I agree with Will. I give it an eight. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but I, it wasn't enough to push it to like top tier status for me. I've had many a crepe in my, in my day, and this this was a this was a damn good crepe. Uh, right. Damn good crepe. He has crepe. Eight. I like Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, you're <laughs> oh, and I ate poo. <laughs> Jeff's gonna get There was totally like a little piece of chocolate on there. Like <laughs> I think I'm on board with Shro. I think I think it's a nine because of uh, the the pricing as everyone said and it's not it's not ahead of Kogi though. Kogi still wins. Glass is muscles, what do you think? <laughs> I was gonna give it an eight, but um, cause you know, I mean, Kogi, like you Davis, Kogi and Rage and Cajun are the best. Fact. And it's really hard to measure up to those two. Um, but uh, I'm gonna give it a nine because the price was ridiculously amazing. Should we take it to the house, to the hole? You know, Get your hand out of there, Jeff. <laughs> no, sorry. You, should, you should put Nutella all over it. Ready? Put it in there. Power Woo! Water zone! zone.